Hi, my name is Holly Parsons. I run the Birds in Backyards program for BirdLife Australia. I wanted to share with you a fabulous project that we've been running over the last 12 months called Birds in Schools. It's a project aimed at Year 5 and 6 kids around the Sydney region where we've got them out on their school grounds learning about the amazing birds that share space with them on those school grounds and importantly what they can do to take action for them. Birds in Schools project is curriculum linked with a series of five research modules that the teachers and the students take part in throughout the year. We've got 16 schools involved from right across the Sydney region at the moment, including public and private. At the centre of the project is bird monitoring. The students are setting their own survey schedules on their school grounds, collecting their data, analysing it themselves and reporting it back not only to us but also to other schools as well. We've also worked with the students to understand the habitat that they've got available on their school grounds, looking at the little creatures that are around as well as other food sources, and they then combine all of that data in with their bird surveys to formulate an action plan, what they're going to do to help birds. But rather than us tell you about what the kids have learned, we thought it would be better to hear from them. My favourite bird is the cockatoo because it is very funny and playful and white is one of my favourite colours. My, my favourite bird is the cockatoo because it's always having fun. My favourite bird is called the raven because it makes this noise. Huh? 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 My favourite bird is the white faced hare because we see it every single day at recess on the bottom oval. We even made up a song about it. White faced hare. White faced hare. My favourite bird is a superb fairy wren because we have a great environment for them and they would be safe to grow up here. My favourite activity is when we went to the Bird Life Discovery Centre when we discovered a lot of different species of birds. The thing about birds in schools is the bird watching because it's peaceful to watch all the birds and it's really exciting when you get to see a rare bird. My favourite thing is when we were with Elizabeth at our school and we're looking at the nests of the birds. We also uh, learned how they survive and how they make their nests. Yeah, um, I like that too, but I also liked when they came to our school and we did the insects and we looked for insects. Remember that? Yes. To attract small birds and cockatoos and rainbow lorry Kids, we can do this by planting foods and having a lot of food resorts. The bird that I want at the school is the crimson rosella. By doing this, we need to plant the mellow luca plant. To attract most of the fairy wrens to the school because they're beautiful and we think that we might be able to do that by planting some more small bushes and shrubs. And we also want to support birds because they, some are indigenous and some are extinct and we don't want that to happen because they are very important in our community. We should help birds because they are a beautiful part of nature and the most beautiful ones have actually become extinct. extinct. So if we help them, we could save the most beautiful part of nature. Help the birds because the birds' ecosystem is disappearing and dying out. But we can help them by planting more trees and shrubs. Well, we here at BirdLife Australia, of course, think birds are pretty wonderful, but it's fantastic to see that our birds in school students think the same. It's been a fantastic project to be involved in. And what's been extra special is seeing how the kids are making decisions and taking action to protect their local bird life.